Hi guys and welcome to Avon Colony Beta. Yes, it's back. We did a six hour live stream of this last weekend. I'm going to do a series on it now. This is going to sit in on a Saturday at the moment because I'm putting Subnautica to one side for a moment. I'm going to email the developers. I've been trying, I spent about three hours on it today trying to get my prawn suit back with no avail. So I'm going to email the developers. There's no console command to do it that I can see. I've tried to build a vertical tower up, which was a nightmare. You need so many resources to get out of that. I was almost there and it glitched on me again. So I'm going to put Subnautica down for a few weeks while I email the developer and see what I can come up with. Um, but we're going to play this, A, in the meantime, and B, alongside it when Subnautica comes back. That's the plan. Right, we're going to do a new game. And I'm going to do a sandbox. I'm going to do Hillier's Crescent. I'm going to have free supply beacons and we're going to do high resources and we're going to launch straight away. We're going to get into it. For th this is basically a colony survival game, a bit like a cross between Planet Base and Anno 2205. It sort of takes Planet Base to the next step, but it doesn't go to the extreme of Anno 2205, whereby you have to fill up every square, which really annoyed me. Um, they've done a really good job. This is a really the good, of your colonists in a good mind title. You your colonists. Now, a little bit Remember, about the game. We're all in this it's going to be £30 when it gets released. First off, I need to upgrade this. First thing you do is upgrade this so you can build quicker. So we'll go for two to start with. Um, yeah, it's going to be £30 for the game. It's not out till next year. I'm not sure when. Um, you can buy it beta from their own website. I'll put a link in the description. We need to get power going next, which is this sucker here. And we need to build tunnel out to there. And out to there, because we need to get a mine going as well. Which we need a laser mine in there. Right, so that's all going. Um, so yeah, they're basically doing a beta version from their website. This doesn't even show up on Steam yet, even though I am playing it on Steam. It will go on Steam. Um, I've got a, a press release copy from them. Lovely guys sending me a press release copy. Well, I, I asked them and they sent it to me. Um, so basically what you're going to get is it will come out on Steam next year sometime. So wait, uh, if you want to wait on, you can do. If you buy into the beta, expect it to go wrong at times, like Subnautica. I mean, Subnautica's early access, it shouldn't be as bad as it is. This is a pretty finished product, I have to say. Right, okay. Next thing we need to sort out is A, food, um, and B, water. So let's get water on the go first. Let's get one of these in. Let's have a look where we can put it. We can get a 0.8 there. 0.8, it's not too bad there. There is a 0.9 there, but that's not connected. Uh, 0.8. I think we're going to get the best we can do is about a 0.8. Don't really want to go there. I'm going to put it there. We'll get some water can, and we need to get food going as well. So. I'm going to go with this. We'll get some. Let's have a look at the quality of the food. Melons are good. And we can get 6.7 in the winter if we go there and we build up that way. So if I build a corridor going that way first, then we put that in. We need more water because that won't be enough. We'll upgrade that one, in fact. And the other thing you need to do pretty quickly as well, I will say, is I'm going to come to there. I'm going to put down a immigration centre. You need this fairly quickly. And I noticed something I've forgotten as well, which I shall do in a minute. Writing all this down, there's lots to do straight off. So much to do. 
what we need to do is go back onto the mine. We need to make one of these, a nanite processor. Otherwise, that's going to be useless mine. I'm going to plonk him down next to it. But now, I've got it so you can rotate on the mouse button. So my side button's on my mouse. You can flick the building around, make them look nice. So all we need to really do now is concentrate on food and water and get some storage in place, really. And then a habitat. And we're doing good. And we're, we're concentrating on upgrading this. Where's our other nun up mine? It's over there we need to get to. Well, there's one there as well. Ooh, that's nice. We've got Zorium close by. That you can mine and then t you can make a, a big generator later. Here comes our first peoples. I want to get more food and water in first, though. So we're going to upgrade this, mark this farm to the max. There we go. So at least we're mining Zorium now. So if we upgrade that. And we will upgrade that in a minute. And the drop shift is unloading three colonists. Now our colonists currently go into here, which we can have 16. And we've got 16, so we won't get no more population until we build a tower. Which we will do. Can we upgrade that again? We can. I want to upgrade this first though. So I'll wait for the eight nanites to come in. He's going to take off. I love the way these ships take off. Watch. The detail in this game is brilliant. I, I just so love this game. Here we go. He's going to go. Which way is he going to go? He's going to go that way. Now watch him go off. He's going to hit the mountain. You think he's going to hit the mountain, but he's not. He's going to pull up. So you basically you got people around. We're doing good. I want to upgrade this first because at the moment it's synthesising okay. We're only getting point two though, and it's not it's not waiting. So we might as well get it upgraded, get it going quicker. We're still negative on food and water, so we need to concentrate on that as well. We need to get a positive ratio on food and water in order to become, oh sorry, food and water down there, to become sustainable. There's lots to build at the start. I'll try not to speed it up where I can. Okay. So we had no immigrants coming that time. So now we're processing a little bit quicker, we're going at 0.5 let. Again, it's not stopping, so we can upgrade this next. So we need six nanites. So when we get six nanites, we can upgrade that. Oh, so good! So you can speed the game up. There we go. I love these upgrades. We've got winter coming, which is a problem. We've got no food. Nothing we can do about that. We're just going to have to suffer it for a couple of winters, I suspect. He winters down the bottom left here. You can see a bar going across. We're on Sol 1. We'll see if we do better than Matt Damon. So, winter comes there, basically, and lasts about nearly a third, of, just over a third of the year. And you have to make sure you've got enough food to survive. So, we want to keep an eye on this so that it's now getting to get more Zorium. It's got a little bit of copper there. We've got a ship landing. Look at the ship. Look at the little flaps on it. Look. So well detailed. I love it. The engines are spinning around. Look. I'm amazed that they just two engines. I would have thought it'd need four engines there. But apparently it can land like that. So it's going to say insufficient housing now because we can't take any more people. We're maxed out. So we're processing now. Like we need to get basically one of those, which is 32 nanites, which is a long way off. 
I, do, I tend to concentrate on food a little bit more f to start with. We can upgrade that to a tier 3 farm. So wa both water and that are maxed out now, which means we need to put more down. We're coming into winter, so we're not going to get food from a farm. Basically, if you look at these, it will say the ground freezes does not work in winter. So you'd only be able to build a greenhouse, which would give 50% efficiency. So we're going to go for water next, so we need 9 nanites. I'm going to get another water processor down. I might put it just next to the other one. Here comes winter now. You'll see around the edges of the screen that around here all starts freezing up. So the farm's going to stop working, which means that'll go to a high negative. There you go, it's going up. Oh, it's going down. Right, we can build another one of these. So I'm going to put him there. Oh, I've put him the wrong way around. I needed to spin him another one. Never mind. I wanted them to look identical. But they won't. But it's all good. So now it's a case of surviving the winter and just building up those nanites and getting that upgraded when he's finished. We'll get that upgraded and we'll get this to... Might need three, actually. Have to wait and see. We've got... Plenty of energy. So we need eight nanites to upgrade it. So let's speed her up a bit through the winter. Again, not going to get any colonists. Need to need to make a, a house basically. Okay, we can upgrade that. We'll keep that on fast for a moment. Again, it's, it's going to complain that we can't have any colonists because we need. Insufficient housing. So he's going to go away. We'll make up some. What's his name? Yeah, we're probably going to need another water thing. So let's see if we can put in somewhere good. And that's a good one. We'll put in it's there. Time for a referendum election. Referendums are basically to vote you in. Let's have a look. And we're going to see if we can upgrade that one as well. There we go. I've got it on super fast forward. We're making no water. We're making a little bit of food now because we're through the winter. We need to basically get some housing down now. So we need 32 nanites. So we're just going to leave it on full whack. And we've got to build out to here as well. Hi boss. I've compiled some feedback 67 to help guide you the upcoming referendum. Because they've got nowhere to live at the moment. We can put these down. I don't like those. I'd rather wait. Rather wait and get the 32 nanites. We're, it's going up. Won't take too long. And uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to come out there and we go. There's a referendum election coming up 66 soon. 66% of the feedback way. From your colonists. Here we go. Right, we can slow it down again now because we can put one of these in. Now I want to put storage in there. So I'm going to put this in here like this so that's going to go there that will give us expandability at last we need more food next and storage because storage is pretty full uh, where's storage on, storage is 46 percent half full so you'll be able to look at the detail of this i'm also going to upgrade that in a sec cost 10 nanites but I think we need to concentrate on getting that actually. That's probably going to be out of my range. Um, I need 10 to build that. So I... I'll get rid of both of those. We're doing good. take a little while to build that. We'll let it go. Looks good. They build everything with nanites. you got to keep your ha people happy. They're not happy at the moment. Reason being is they've got nowhere to live. They don't like living in these. If we look at this, it will give you all the different bits and pieces. They're going to move in there now, basically. So we'll have 16, but this will take 32, 36, and we've still got this little one here if we need it. 
So we're in a better position. We need more food. Uh, we need a variety of food as well. So bear that in mind. Ooh, here we go. Four rice. Five point seven rice. I'm going to put that there. And winter's coming. Did that at the wrong time, but never mind. We've got three immigrants. We're six, 16 people. Just look how beautiful it is, though, the game. I love the backdrops. The backdrops are excellent. I think most people that have shown this on YouTube have done the desert map. That's why I've completely avoided it. And we've gone for this one. the ground freezing over it. Not only that, look at the sea. The sea freezes over everything. It's like really cool. Even though you've got water sounds. They'll sort that out, I'm sure. Alright, we've got another farm. I've consulted with the inhabitants 66. of the colony. We still and can govern. Feedback that might help you. I'm going to upgrade the farms to get them up to max so that when the winter's over we're at full production on food. For that. We've also got what's called potash right on our doorstep, which is good. If you mine that, basically what you get is um, fertilizer, which means you can boost your farms. nearing that as well. I want to upgrade the farm fully first. Just look at the level of detail in these. That little things moving around. A little pump. Pump all the water up. Still got frozen. We can do one more on that, can't we? If you're short on power, you can turn individual buildings off, which is good. I'm going to just upgrade you to full, mate. Get you done. How much does that cost to upgrade? 12. We can upgrade that as well soon. We've got 155 power. Power is key. We've got plenty of geothermal vents this way. We've got one there, one there. One over here, but more iron. Loads of iron over this way. So I, I think we'll come over into the corner here. We've got another two vents here. These are the uh, pods that you get. And I don't know when we get the. What's his name? Where we can call supplies in. Taking this time. And we'll construct some greenhouses as well. But two farms should be enough for the moment. We're, we're low on food. You also, if you press C, there, you can go to the uh, security cameras and cycle through them just for pressing C, which is cool. Yeah, he's nearly done on that. I've got 13 nanites. I want to get over there. So basically this circle here that's down is where our construction drones can reach. We want to get over here though. Um, so I'm going to put it about there purely because it will get that nano but it also get the geoform of There's no point in going further to the right because of the fact it's water. So we're going to go there. We need to connect up. I need that moved. That's a pain in the butt in the way. So what I'll probably do is upgrade this next. And then get rid of that solar panel. Which I know sounds a bit silly, but we're going to come through straight through. How much power is that giving us? That's giving us 12. A bit early to get rid of it yet, but we could do Would be in line with that, wouldn't it? We'll have to come off there, that'd be alright. I 
kind of want to upgrade this first. Which we need 12, we need one more and we can upgrade that. We're going to do just half an hour start because you did have a six hour live stream of this the other day so you've had a good tutorial into this. Other ship bringing more people. Three, three colonists and three immigrants. There we go. We've got three people in there, the rest are all in there. So this will go up to six. There we go, 100% employed. If we go down here and hover over the little smiley face thing, our happiness is going up, 68%. Average health is good, total columns is 22. We're low on power because that little power icon is telling me that the other one isn't connected up the other end. We're going to sort that out. Because we're going to start building back from here. I'm going to get rid of that. We're low on feed. We're, at, we're in winter still though, at the moment. So we just had a massive power boost from that. Hey we should do. Once people work. They need more people to work there. That's the thing. Food is an issue. We're going to sort that out in a second. We've Victory won the boss. vote. So we get social policies now. So if I bring up this. We can go in here. This one. And we can do things like this. We need a research centre for that, but we can ration and do all sorts of things in there. I'm not going to ration. Oh, look, that's a priority. Yeah, we know you need more food. We've got a positive ratio of food coming in again, though. We're going to take that away. Ah, uh, you, you are. All right, we'll go that way across. That will connect it and give it power once we put one in here. And then I'm thinking two. I want to get this in so we can increase our production of nanites. There we go, right. That'll connect that. And then we need to upgrade this. We've got more. Got 22 people. Right, we've got that up and running now. So we can come out here. No, we haven't. Have we got no people there? No, we have got somebody there. There we go. We haven't got any nanites, that's what it is. We're getting there though. I want to get my nanite production up and food production. We're okay in storage. Air quality's good. We need happiness up as well. Can't recycle anything. Our food's going up okay. Should have enough to last another winter. See how the water look. It's not frozen anymore. It's really good how it freezing that. I watched it on the live stream. Oh, one more now, night. Now we need a drill. This is going to be a little while, so we need to fast forward it to get our nanites. So I want to get it in for you guys. Price 15 power. We've got very little power left over, saying that. We haven't got 15 power, and we've upgraded it. We need more people working. Hola. Is that working non-stop? That is working non-stop. So we do need another mine. This one's been upgraded fully. We might have to put some power in first before doing that. Because that's going to require 15 power and we haven't got it. Yes, we have got it. We've got it. Let's do it. There. 
There we go. All right. Let's have a look at what we've got now. So we can, we're making enough of that. We need to make more of that. So we've probably got iron coming in and storing. We have. That's good. So. I need 21 nanites for that. Man. Definitely want to get a greenhouse going because we're in winter. Uh, we go for. Might as well give this a really good. Rice is good. 5.8. Spin around. And then I want to get this going. I'm one of these getting around here. Please. And then we'll get that upgraded in a minute. What does it need to upgrade? Nine nanites. We're doing good though. We're not bad for a first episode, look. We've got a little colony going. Winter's a bit of an issue with food, but we'll get that up. Don't panic. Wait till you get later on when you get a big colony. It really does suck the life out of you. So, just making a note of what we've done. A few bits and pieces, keep you busy. So that will be producing some now. We, we probably need more employees. Uh, unemployment is zero. Jobs filled 44%, so we can do with more people. That's getting full. We need to upgrade that soon. And our storage. How's our storage? 26 we need to get storage. More people coming in. Are they, these are working at full capacity. So we could probably get another one of those going as well. We'll wait for the 22, we're nearly there. Food is an issue. Can we upgrade that? We can, let's do it. Just look how detailed it is though, I love it. It's absolute beautiful game. I can see me playing a lot of this. we we'll probably get another greenhouse in coming up for it, isn't it? And we want to get into these as well. Yeah, food's low, I know. But it's all good. Power's low. We need to get over here to this other power generator. There's all sorts going on. All sorts. Right, we can build another one of these. Which is good. So let's spin that around. Like that, put that in there. We're up to 44. Let's see if we can get to our first goal in the first episode. That'd be good. Nice and tidy goes. So we'll increase our nanite production, which is good. You've always got to think about what you're producing and where you're going, because nanites will run out. I'll tell you this now. Because the, when the iron runs out, nanites run out. So you need a different source. Luckily, I know the formula. Everything's okay. It's fine. Right, we're going to save up 26 nanites and get some storage on the go, because we're 78% full. Or should we go for another... Let's go for another greenhouse, actually. Winter's nearly over. We're going to go into a positive. No, I'm going to build, I'm going to build that. Two more nanites and we're there. These are raking in the... Uh, as long as they've got enough iron coming in. Alright, we're going to plop this down here. Like that. And I've got enough to actually come through here as well. Just connect that up. So 
it would be good to get the 50. We only need six more, so there's only two more shuttles coming in. Food is okay. Food's going up. We are going to concentrate a bit more on food for the moment, though. I thought that was around the wrong way then. Nanite production is good. We should work on our happiness as well. Right, happiness is this. What you can do is you can put down things like this to make them happy. We put a park down. And connect it up. Things will take a long time as well because we, we haven't upgraded these fully. Which is fine. So that's going to boost our happiness. Right, I'm going to show you overlays. Because we haven't seen this. This is our air quality. Our air quality is not brilliant. So again, that's going to increase happiness if we do that. Parks will do it a little bit. Increase entertainment morale of the surrounding area, which is good. We need to increase air quality, which I want to put these down. And the reason I want to put these down... Ooh, actually, was that power issue we got there? We might have a power issue. Okay, let's save up the 24 nanites and get that going. So let's build across to it. Uh, should be there. We'll save up six more nanites and then we'll put another power station in. Hopefully the workers will commute. They will moan a bit. We need to upgrade that as well. We'll do the power first, though. 16 in there. 33. We can only take one more landing of the ship anyway. Alright, let's pop that in there. We're low on power. And we're bad on air quality. So we've got all these things going on. I want to get to 50 population first. We only need one more. So the next ship that comes in will give us one more pop. So that's going to give us our power. We're going to only have three more people in there. I'm going to upgrade that. We're almost there. We're over 30 minutes. It's alright to go a little bit over. I mean, normally I give you an hour long episode. We need to upgrade that as well. So we've got lots to upgrade. Right, we're going to upgrade the tower first. Because we've only got capacity of three spare in there. So we're going to upgrade that first. They're going to get, why didn't they reach? They should reach. Show range. Oh, it's just outside, look. And now we're going to work on air quality. Be the next one. So we need 26. So we need to wait a little bit. Oh. Speed it up. Right, we've got 26. We can build our first one. So I'm going to plot that down there because this is where a lot of the pollution is going to be coming from. And then we'll work on upgrading it. We're just waiting for a colony ship to come in to get the 50 population and say, oh yeah. straight away upgrade it. So what this will be having an effect on is the air quality around here. We're at 65. Here, we go. here comes our ship mate. Here it is. We're going to hit 50 pop right now. Is it going to be, is it going to be a win? Is it going to be a win? Greetings. Hi there. I think we're there. We have done it. Objective completed. So on so far, we have in the, we have 50 inhabitants in four days. So I don't quite get the reward system because it gives me four nanites on 11 core. It then well, says reward available, so then you can choose the it. Now there we're doing all right on food and water now. I don't resources. want immigrants. All I want is nanites so we can build. And I am gonna. Pause it there. So there you go. There's your there's your glimpse of Avon Colony Beta. So guys, if you've liked this episode, hit the like button. Feel free to comment down below. Any questions you've got, tips you've got, 
you know, any, I don't think many people will have tips because this game is so new, nobody's got it. Um, I'm okay, I, I'm pretty good. I will get to a thousand colony. We may have a few hiccups along the way, but we will get there. I'll put the links to Facebook, Twitter, Facebook, Twitter, Twitch, and Patreon all in the description of the video, along with the link to their website to Avon Colony. It's made by Mothership Entertainment. I'll put the link there, so if you do want to buy into the BD, you can do. If you don't, you know, you know, you got to bear in mind there will be bugs. I haven't found any bugs yet. I must admit, it's pretty polished. They're a pretty good bunch of guys that have developed this, um, but there will be bugs. And there could be game-breaking saves along the way as they update things before launch. So if if you don't worry about that sort of thing, buy into it. If you are worried and you're like going to get frustrated and really annoyed, don't buy into it until it comes out. So guys, that's it from me. Oh, no, no it's not. Make sure you're subscribed. Don't forget to subscribe like I nearly did. Make sure you're subscribed. Make sure you share this video out. And come back next time we're going to do another one next week so until the next time it is in fact goodbye from me for now bye, -bye.